We turn now to the United Auto Workers Union once again expanding the stand up strike now hitting the most profitable plants for each of Detroit's big three. The UAW has now ordered workers at General Motors Arlington assembly plant in Texas to walk off the job. It's one of GM's biggest money makers that produces the Cadillac Escalade, Chevy Tahoe and more. It comes just a day after the union targeted the most profitable Stellantis plant. 5,000 workers at the Arlington plant have hit the picket line. Right now, nearly 45,000 United Auto Workers are on strike. Stellantis has now announced more layoffs due to the expanding strike. 400 employees at Sterling Stamping and 125 at Warren Stamping were told not to report to work on Monday. And 7 Action News reporter Peter Maxwell is joining us live at Sterling Heights Assembly with the long-standing impacts and the analysts believe this strike will have. Peter? Hey, it will have a long lasting impact. I want to touch on Stellantis really quickly. They did release a statement saying that they are outraged over the UAW's latest move to, well, impact their largest uh, manufacturing plant and also GM releasing a statement about the Arlington, Texas plant, which well, produces the popular Chevy Suburban and the Tahoe and Escalades. Well, they are just saying it is completely unwarranted and these strikes will have a lasting impact well after the strikes are over. Union workers here at GM's plant in Pontiac are cheering on their fellow brothers and sisters down in Arlington, Texas after they walked off the job, joining the tens of thousands already on strike. It's discouraging that we have to fight this hard like this for the middle class America. GM's Arlington assembly plant is one of the automakers most profitable. The plant builds popular models like the Chevy Suburban and Tahoe, the Cadillac Escalade and the GMC Yukon and Yukon XL. The announcement came as a surprise to General Motors after their third quarter earnings announcement of $3.1 billion. However, the automaker in quarter three saw $200 million in impacts as a result of the strike. And in quarter four, they estimate $600 million in losses, $200 million every week in losses as the strike continues. The automaker is saying in a statement, they're disappointed, calling the strike unnecessary and irresponsible. GM went on to say it is time to finish this process and get the team members back to work. Professor Eric Gordon with the University of Michigan says GM will never get that money back. As bad as $200 million a week is, it might not be the big damage. The big damage might be if the car companies and the UAW workers are not competitive with car makers that are not UAW unionized. When the strike ends, its effects won't end. What we're likely to see is something we've seen before, a smaller U.S. auto industry. And when it comes down to it, we did speak to uh, some uh, folks over in Pontiac yesterday. Our crews did speak to some of the GM strike uh, workers on strike and they told our crews that just one more plant could hopefully bring all of the parties back together and come down to a negotiation and a contract agreement. Reporting in Sterling Heights, I'm Peter Maxwell, 7 Action News. Thinking about so many striking workers, so many people laid off, impacting so many. Peter, thank you.